Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Mr. Fudge. You're back for another episode, and today I'll be telling you what's the best people to trade with on the market. What I recommend is the non-rare BPL players. You have top players that everyone wants to use in their team. A lot of mentions go to Jack Wilshere, Andre Herrera, with Naldrum, Adam Lalana, Alex Song, because they're great players. You also have people like Andre Ayew, Colo Cooney, Johnny Evans, Gareth Barry, or Colocini, sorry, I should say. Chedrick, which is the, the best right back what you could get. Okazaki. And then you have other strikers like Cisse, Sun, who's a great one. Bertrand, they all stand out. Kevin Wimmer, John Stones, Clevery, Selby, because all their stats help them this year. Fabian Delph, you got to look at them and their stats. Once you find some players which interest you out of a whole list, and I'm going to go through a couple of pages of these to help you out, you can go and look along certain of these. I recommend ones that play for high clubs and high league and the uh, top five teams, but there are also, I would recommend the English. People I don't recommend is people which are just this year gold. I don't know why the silvers and bronze came up when I only put number of gold, just ignore them. As you can tell, the, so for example, no one really wants a Ricky Lambert, even though he's got 81 shooting, 71 passing, 79 physical. He's just too slow up front. No one wants to use him. So you're really gonna, you're more likely to get something out of punching. That's what I recommend. Looking at players' stats all round. If they have stats which are above 70 to 75 in each area, minus their weaknesses which is usually if they're like attacking, which is defending, passing or physical, depending on the type of strikers. Cams, it should be as well, defending and physical. CDM should be shooting and um, sometimes pace. But usually it's fine. What I don't recommend looking at is an example of Houlihan here. Even though he's a cam and his Irish was placed for Norwich, which is a good club in the Premier League at the minute, his stats are very terrible. 50 physical and 45 defending are the lowest two stats. That's usually what it is in a cam. But with 77 dribbling and 74 passing, it actually looks interesting. But then you look at the other thing, 65 pay 68. Even though you have stuff like great stamina, great long shots and stuff like that, his main stats will bring him down. Because a lot of people think it's about all their stats. No. A lot of people buy players for their main stats. And a perfect example is this, if you would go back onto the first page, the best player I recommend trading with, who I've also been trading with myself, I don't really like to tell you who I've been trading with, is one of the people which a lot of people are surprised by this year that he is one. And that is Francis Coquelin. Francis Coquelin's stats is one of the best things that could have ever happened to him. With all 70 plus stats, except shooting, it's insane this guy. He plays for Arsenal, 70, if I show you some stats, 70 pays, 76 dribbling, 75 defending, 78 physical, 70 passing, and a medium high work rate, which is very good for CDM. And now you can go look at his stats, which is his pace, acceleration, and sprint speed over here, his dribbling, agility, balance, reactions, ball control, and dribbling. Here are some of the weaker stats, shooting, positioning, finishing, long shots, volleys and penalties, but he does have a good shot power. Now, he's just a typical CDM, so you expect him to have good physical, good jumping, good stamina, good strength and aggression. But, with all these other stats, in the 70 plus as well, it's no surprise that everyone wants Francis Coughlin. Now... I was I go usually on um, during night to train due to the fact that everyone's listening up for the next day, and as you can tell, there's not much on the market at the minute. See this one here looks like a steal, and it is. I cannot believe no one noticed this. When I could just sell it on for this easy without no. As you just seen, I picked up a very good steal. I'm listing them up for two and a half K. Just gonna make sure for a second. I actually feel safe listing them up for two five, which is very 
shocking as you can tell I'm just gonna list them up even though I just bought 4k you're thinking to myself I'm thinking you're thinking how do you list them up for 25 when you picked it up 4k it's sniping now to be fair I actually had today off to do this episode because I've been busy as you can tell here it is Francis Coughlin in my trade bar now on my watch list I was looking at a few others so this John Joe Shelby these two Oregies and with Naldrum, we are which are interesting me, considering the fact their price is actually not that expensive. I go and look up Origi as well. Very decent Liverpool striker this year in career mode. I've I've heard a lot about this guy, but not that great on the transfer market. As you can tell, I actually sorry I didn't show you prices. His prices range from three to four k to five. That's the one I've added to my watch list. 29 2k 1.8 now you're wondering why have I actually just added them to to watch it because they're on open bids a lot of people think open bids are terrible to trade with they're the best things to trade with because people would expect things not to sell as you can tell I have a sucker that ain't bid now I've had for a while and I ain't sold I should not be showing you this and I've also had a cocklin it's the Xbox 360 market so these plays were more likely to be found on newer gen but I still recommend trading with these. Anyway, that's it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoy and goodbye.